Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift Programming Logic tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how you can convert a string back into a date. So let's say you're storing things in a database and you can only store it as a string. Then you could um, save your date as a string and then you could just um, swap it back using the date formatter. I've already done a video on date formatter but I haven't actually shown how to convert a string to date. It's quite simple but yeah, it can be complicated if you don't actually understand how to do it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, the first thing I'm going to have to do is create a date. And to, to do that, I'll just uh, create a date, then just print it. Uh, and then I'll just copy and paste that, since that seems to be the easiest way of just getting a date. Um, Okay, and I'll just copy this, put this in commas over there, and there we go. So now what I can do is I can actually um, convert this string back into a date. Uh, so uh, let string date equals, I'll just put that in there. And now we can create the date formatter. And we have to create the date format, which is um, equals. So this date format is year, 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 month, month, and then we have um, that is 24 hour clock. And I think the way you do that is uh, capital H. So date, 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 and then capital H, uh, MM. So capital M is for month, and lowercase m is for minute second second and then plus zzz that uh, seems to work the best um, and now what we can do is just let date is equal to formatter dot date from string string date and if I print this date this should give us this no uh, okay I think it's this zzz bit at the end which is causing that but yeah, there we go. So um, I don't know what to do about that. I think it might be plus T, 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 or something along those lines. I'm sure you can figure it out. But um, oh, just realized it's plus one since I live in GMT. And uh, I think it's because this is a plus zero zero. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to remove this last bit. The last bit is quite annoying anyway. So, yeah, um, if I just keep it like that, you can see that it gives us the time back, and, wait, what? Uh, uh, oh, it's because it converts it into 24 hour clock that it does that? It's something to do with that, because, or it might just convert, oh, it converts it into GMT. So this is the time one hour ahead, and then it converts it into GMT, which is zero. So yeah, this is how you convert a string into date. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye!